So welcome guys, I'm back again with another video tutorial. So just as it is in the title, this is going to be the first texture which we want to import. We're going to add in a pattern to it. So as you can see, first of all click on it, then the next thing is to add in the pattern on top of it so just click on add photo and select it this is the one which we want to use so click on it and then click add at the top right corner so let me zoom out and resize it to fill the screen think like so once you're done come over here click on effects then make sure you are under black and white so just click on the first one and just like that after that you can click on done Oops. okay so once you are done with that just click ok to apply it Next thing we want to do is to save this image. So just save it. So it has been saved. Then now let us undo. So just click right here to undo. And now let us import the image which we just saved. So we could just come over here. I think it's above. Okay, here it is. Click on add photo. And I guess this is the image we just import. So just click on it and add. So zoom it in again, but this time make it snap to fit the exact proportion. And then the next thing to do is to come over to blend. Here's it. Select screen. Then go over to opacity right here reduce it a bit like so so now let us duplicate this image so you click right here click on duplicate so position it to fit to snap like so and then come over to blend mode again but this time we want to use multiply okay so you can also go back to opacity and adjust it and adjust it so your taste so you can reduce it increase it but I think I'll be fine right here so once you are done with that just click on done okay so this seems to be the before and here's the after if you feel like it's a bit too dull, we're going to fix that just now. So just click on Tools. You can come over to Curves. And then just take this part right at the top. Take this part a bit downwards. Just experiment with it a bit until you have something that looks good to you. Then you can click on done and here's the before and the after i think it looks better now you don't have to stop here you can go ahead but i think i'm satisfied with this look so i guess this is the end of this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye